Hi guys, in the last video we have stopped with printing the map uh, to the screen and in this one we are gonna make our character this little ad symbol is, represents our character we'll make it moving around the screen around the map Yeah. okay and in order to achieve this we have to define a couple of functions so the first one is void get player position and it would uh, uh, has uh, it would have a couple of arguments so pointer to x coordinate position x and pointer to position y here and now we need to loop over the rows row is equal to zero row is less than uh, map height and the row plus plus and the same uh, to uh, and the same uh, exactly the same we would have to loop over the columns so int call is equal to zero call is less than map width this time and call plus plus and now let's define the cell variable which is calculated using this little formula we have to take the row multiplied by the map width and add the column here and I want to say if uh, map at the given cell uh, at the given cell is actually equal to our character or the add symbol in our case then, then in this case we want to assign the value of column to the position x like this and also uh, the value of the current row to our position y so what this function does it takes uh, the addresses of the uh, coordinates given for this particular character and uh, actually initializes them uh, okay and now let's define this uh, position X and position Y uh, variables th themselves and now also let's actually call the get player position get player position uh, function position x position y like this and now let's just see if it compiles and runs okay something has gone wrong here let's see okay what's wrong now get player position okay that's because I didn't uh, actually pass the addresses of these variables but the variables themselves so well for surely it's that did something horrible okay so don't forget for sure don't forget this little and symbol which represents the address of this particular and this one variables so now it should have worked just fine okay compiles and now just to give you an example of uh, actually uh, to make sure that this variables has been initialized I make this little printf here and position x uh, position x and position y okay so like this okay and the variables themselves and it should have give something like column 5 and row 5 something like that as the output okay exactly what I was expecting here okay so this was just for the debugging purposes so just forget this line for now okay and now in order to actually make our character moving around the screen we need a little game loop and in this game loop we'll be using another variable called k that would be stored in the user input and we want just to say while key 
is not equal sorry is not equal to 27 which is the escape key so if we press the escape key the program would terminate break out of the while loop and exit uh, restoring uh, the screen before exiting okay and now we want actually a key assign the value of uh, returned by the get character function to the key and now what we want to is actually switch our key so uh, okay so case let's say W we want to move character move player uh, move player position X position Y and the offset and as far as we are, we are going to move our character upwards this would be minus map with constant and then break and now let's actually okay and just probably print map uh, when we are actually done in order just to refresh the screen oh what am I doing okay and now let's actually implement the move player function move player so it would take exactly three arguments players x coordinate position x position y and the offset and the offset is the value of uh, where we want to actually shift from the current cell index so this is the current cell index and say we want to put the, our character one step to the up then uh, this uh, particular uh, cell index just right above uh, our character would be uh, would have the x uh, would have the offset of uh, minus map width so this see, say the map width is 10 so this one this cell would be current cell minus 10 so that's what is the offset what's the offset offset is standing for okay and here uh, we actually want well first then let's define the player the player position and again it's calculated just like in the get player position so have position y multiplied by map width constant and plus column and now uh, what we want is a map at the index where the player is actually standing we want to have a white space so erase the previous location of our player so this is going to be erased and the destination uh, square where the character is arriving would have to contain uh, our player character but before actually doing doing that we want uh, to change the offset so let's take the position X plus equals offset so like this and now okay uh, we can actually uh, print map player is equal to this add character o okay so m let's just leave this for now maybe there is a, a little better way of implementing this and for now let's just test and uh, see whether it compiles and runs well it doesn't okay so not the column for sure but the position x okay and nothing happens well it would be strange if it compiles and runs from the first take okay let's try to see what's gonna run here okay maybe just okay let me player plus offset does it print the map correctly does it actually print oh, okay yeah uh, s sorry guys th th this is just uh, a bit of different story forget that well, for sure, we had to take the player position. That's the the particular player position 
well, the, 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 what I was showing it was a, more, a little more, a bit more primitive uh, implementation that I, I was using in my in my sucker band game. And this is more proper way of doing things. So we just add the offset to the current player position, like like here. Well, so at the at this particular moment, our character can move through the walls, but we don't really want to have that behavior. And in order to avoid this, uh, what we have to do is actually to say if uh, player if map at the index at the destination index, which is player plus offset, is not equal to a wall, which is represented by the hash symbol. Well, in this case, uh, in this case, actually move the character and otherwise don't do anything so now I'm pushing the W button but character is not moving any further okay and escape to just okay it doesn't escape for some reason okay now let's make uh, actually uh, give a bit more freedom to our character to move around all the four directions so here would S key and here A and here D and here just offset would be the map width as far as the character would be actually going downwards so that's the uh, plausible di direction here it's uh, positive not the negative one and here we want just one cell to the left shift only one cell to the left and only one cell to the right and now our character is finally moving around the board and it doesn't really hit uh, it doesn't move through the walls but is imprisoned within these walls and uh, I press escape and just exited this game loop this one Okay guys, this is it for this video and now I really hope that you have an idea of how particularly you could have used this little console game library in your own projects when you want to code your own games. Well, it maybe it's not the best choice for the professional programmers with a high level of experience and skills and so on, but for the beginners like uh, us, I think this is just really a nice library to try your skills and to try actually code something. and. I believe you would have a lot of fun while playing around with this little library. So see you next video guys! Have a good time!